Okay, in this video, which is going to be fairly long because it's going to cover the basic setup of what I do with the sites, including installing and setting up all the plugins. So, this is the bare install that was generated by Bluehost. And the first thing I do is I go through and get rid of any plugins I don't want. So, basically, what I would do is just delete these. Okay. The only thing I'm going to keep is the Bluehost because it integrates with the Bluehost ba uh, back end, which I think might be useful. I don't want this. I don't want any of these. So we deactivated these in the, in the Bluehost back end in the previous video, but now I just want to get rid of them all because I don't need them. So we will delete. Okay, so that takes about 30 seconds and then next up I'm going to just go through some basic settings that I use within the site itself that are fairly important the first one being is I check the pages they actually create a sample page I want to get rid of that so we'll trash that the privacy policy I may keep they provide a default one but I usually use a, a, a plug-in and I just uh, generate that so I'll step you through that as well that could be helpful now I'm obligated to tell you this that your privacy policy is very important it's a it's a legal document, if you will, on your website and that you, if you have any questions or don't know what you should have in there, that to talk to a lawyer or talk to somebody who actually knows these things, I use the templates and that's it. Usually once you get in with an ad network, they will provide additional uh, terms to include in your privacy policy. Okay, so pages, and I think we usually get a, like a draft post. I like to just get rid of this because we don't need that. I am going to then turn off the comments. Again, that is a personal decision if you want to do that. It's taking a little bit here. Comments. I don't think we have any. All right, we could do that in the settings. So general. I always double check all the stuff with every site. You just never know. Okay, I don't want a tagline. You don't need it. Cycle Baron is good. I typically, I mean, all of the stuff is just personal preference. I am going to go with where I live. I'll set that up after, but I usually like to do that, make it current with my time. Week starts Monday. I like that. I'm going to have the auto updater. Now this is with Bluehost, so this is actually a pretty nice feature. I'm going to do that because I think just generally it's better to have something, your plugins and your themes updated automatically. Saving, 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 writing. I think we're good here. Reading. I am going to do summaries here blog pages. I usually like to add more than 10. I'll go, I'll go 12 for now. Sometimes I bump that up to 18. Now, here's a setting you got to be very careful with. By default, this box is not checked. If you check this box, what it will do is it will hide or prevent your site from being indexed in search engines. You basically, it'll insert a code in there that just says the search engines don't index this website. Now, if you're going to add content very quickly to your site, you don't need to check this. If you have an article, you're, you plan on just setting this up and, and publishing a post, you're good to go. You're going to have content on the site, so do not check that. Okay. But if you're setting this up and it may be a week or two weeks or whatever until you're going to publish an article, you may want to check this because you don't want uh, just basically a blank site sitting there that search engines are going to spider it. It may get to the point where the search engines are going to be like, you know, this, this is just a blank site. We're going to actually actively de-index de it from the search engines. And then you got a problem. Then you got a big problem. Okay, so you don't want to do that. So typically my MO is if I have articles ready to go, as soon as I get all these settings done, I'm going to not check it. If I don't have any content, I check it. So I'm going to check it because I don't actually have an article ready for this. Here's the thing. Don't forget once you publish to come back and uncheck that. <laughs> okay? Okay. <laughs> Uh, I've actually never made that mistake. I made almost every mistake you can in this business, but that's one I've never made, but I know some people have. They're wondering, why is my article in, the, in Google? What, what's going on? And then it turns out that that's checked. So just be aware of that. All right, next up, discussion. While this saves, it's, uh, we 
we want to turn comments off. I just uh, allow people. I don't want any of this stuff. We just turn all the stuff off. I don't want comments anywhere. Show avatars. Sure, comments are off, so it doesn't matter. The next step is very important as well. It's called the permalink setup. So this is going to be how the URLs for your individual articles are going to show up. Okay, I like to go by post name. That's it. I go here and optional. I'm not going to change any of the category base or anything like that. I'm going to keep it like this. So by default, I went to post name. That's good. That's what I prefer. That's what most people do. I am, yeah, that, that's all we need to do here. And that is the basic setup at this point. We still need to install a theme and we need to install a bunch of plugins and set them up before we're ready to start publishing. At this point, this is what it looks like. And this is based on some free theme I chose and we we're just setting this up. I'll eventually just delete all these. So I'm gonna end this video here. I'm trying to keep them a little bit shorter so that it's easier to jump into the video that you prefer. Thanks for watching.